Mesh Mixer has many tools that will help you 3D print your objects you create. Here is a capture from 123D Catch that someone created with their iPhone and shared with the community at 123dapp.com. It is a capture of a bust of Walt Disney taken at Disneyland. Now this capture can use some cleanup and healing before sending it to the print bed. First, I'll use my selection tool to select and delete any unwanted faces. I'm using the laser select to highlight everything on one side of the line I draw and then I can click delete. Now I can recenter my view on the Disney bust. To 3D print this, I'll need to close up some holes I see here on the top and bottom. To do this, I can use a handy tool in the analysis bucket called Inspector. When I click Inspector, I get these pins that indicate issues with my mesh. The blue pins are showing the holes. I can click each pin one by one to fix the holes, or I can simply click Auto Repair All. Now my mesh holes are filled in. I'll use the Plane Cut tool from the Edit bucket to make a flat bottom for this object to rest on the print bed. Clicking Plane Cut, I see that I have a manipulator to define the plane cutting position and direction. I can rotate it 90 degrees around the z-axis so the cut is parallel with how I want my object to sit when it is printed. Then I can move it downwards in the world y direction with the green arrow, then click Accept. Looking underneath, you can see that the plane cut is filled with a flat surface. Okay, now this object is cleaned up and what we call watertight. In other words, it is a solid object with no holes or mesh problems. To enter the 3D printing screen, I can click the bucket at the bottom that says print. I'll have a 3D printing service print this for me. I can choose what service and material to use and get a price estimate quickly. For example, I can choose from iMaterialize, Sculptio, or Shapeways. Each offers a variety of materials to 3D print your object, and you can explore what each offers and their price points. Here I choose iMaterialize, which updates my material options in the drop-down list. Clicking the drop-down, I see a complete list of the materials I can choose from to 3D print this object. The material options are many, from brass to ceramic, plastic, gold, silver, and even titanium. I'll choose a silver material with a satin finish. I can use the transform tool to adjust the size of the object for something within my budget. Then click to update the price. When I find the right size and price I am happy with, I can click review cart and order. A screen showing your cart will pop up where you can confirm everything one last time before you send it to the 3D printing service you choose. If all looks good to you, click Order, which will open the 3D printing service's website with your objects. You can finalize the purchase of the print here with the purchasing and payment options that is provided on their website.